So the Moors Millions races will complete my uh, commentary assignments for this week then. The very short version of this one, this is leg six, there's only three and a quarter miles, which is pretty short, considering the finals are over. Three, five, and four and a half, I think. Anyway, 0 to 120, very low as well. Smart Jane, the top one for John Morgan. In traction, Kevin Meenahan, Warlock, Joshua Sutherland. This is where the fish lives. Obi Wan, Admiral Bing for Graham Clutterbuck. Sphinx Waltz in Darren House, Chasing Clouds, Martin Lee, Bootsy David Robertson, Napoleon Gray, Stu Gray, Iron World, Molly at Surfer, De Angelis, James Follis, and Bull Five. P. Hannon, so 12 of them then. I'm not sure that many of these will feature in the final because three and a quarter miles is a bit short and away they go the shortest of the moors millions qualifiers it's still worth winning and napoleon gray gets into the lead i get a gold couple out of this this is where the fish lives though wants to lead doesn't it it gets off into the lead on napoleon gray and iron world as they race towards the first of just 17 and they're all safely over that one with bootsy at the back moliette surf as the leader with Iron World, leads by about two. And this is where the fish lives in second. And Sphinx Walton and the Orange Jackets move through into third. Smart Jane and Warlock are close up as well, so is DeAngelis in traction. He's also close up as they take the second. Oh, there's a fall and there's something gone there. This is where the fish lives has gone, so this is where the fish falls, is what that fence ought to be called. And that one is battered and out of the race. And Iron World is the leader. Come down to the ditch and over that one. Something else has gone there. DeAngelis has gone. So two fallers already. We've only jumped three fences. And we're over three miles and a quarter. So we've seen pull up kit zone as well. So I'm pretty sure we won't see all of these finish this race. And Iron World is clear by five. And Smart Jane in second as they come down to the fourth. And you can see Sphinx Waltz in a ball five, just about. See Admiral Bring, but not getting many of the horses in shot at this stage. Most of them are out the back and off screen. So. Iron World in front then. By six. They take the fifth. I want to see more of them being brave enough to get themselves put on camera now then. Being a little bit shy and coy at the back. Bootsy in traction and chasing clouds, the ones who are not feeling really photogenic as they Oh, the leader's gone! Goodness me! Iron World crashed out. That's a bad looking fall there. The jockey planted in the fence. No, three fallers. And we've got them all in shot now. And Bull Five is in front from Sphinx Walton in second. Smart Jane is third, Admiral Bing is four as they come down to this next one. Let's see if they all get over this one. They all got over that one, okay. And three out already just nine left and ball five is the leader as they can't pass the stand ball five in front smart jane and admiral bing and there's pretty much five in a line then and finally chasing clouds just the back marker at this stage so pass the one in post then with a complete circuit to go in this moore's millions qualifying which is leg six and smart jane is in front as they take the eighth over that one okay i presume gray will be putting up a list of horses that have qualified so far this week because it's transfer window week so you don't want to transfer anything out if it's qualified for this maybe for the final uh, smart jane is in front as they come to this ditch over that one they go and all the nine of them that are still in it are standing on their feet still after jumping it and it's smart jane and sphinx waltz in to dispute the lead the rest of the field are pretty tightly packed but loose horses book in the field at this stage of the race will they get in the way and cause any mayhem in the final mile and a half Stinks Watson in the orange jacket on the outside of Smart Jane in the pale blue those two a couple of lengths clear of in traction Bootsy and Ball Five as they take the tenth Admiral Bing is just about dropped to the back it's probably only six or seven lengths now first to last and Smart Jane's in front from Sphinx Watson they queuing up behind Bootsy up the centre of the track creeping into it and grey napoleon grey is also getting a bit closer ball five's just dropped back a little bit admiral bing is still at the back it's smart jane and napoleon grey has now come through on the outside to take a share of the leaders they take the 11th over that one they all go 
with Sphinx waltzing in front, Napoleon Gray is second, Ballfire is third and Smart Jane is fourth, then Bootsy chasing Clouds is next, then Warlock, Admiral Bing is the back marker. Just a mile left to race then now. That loose horse is right in the way there as they take that one. Ball five has jumped back into the lead. Pace hasn't been particularly quick since Iron World departed the race. This could develop into a bit of a sprint at the end. But ball five is the leader. And on the inside, Sphinx Walton got over it. Well, that one's got the rail. It's got the loose horse to keep it in on the rail. That might be a benefit as they come around this turn. Then now, Sphinx Walton should come out of this turn. Marginally in front from Ball 5 in second, then Napoleon Gray, Fidway, Warlock is getting closer. We're losing one at the back. Admiral Bing has gone and pulled up. So we knew we get at least one pulled up, didn't we? Over the 14th they go then. And over that one it's Sphinx Waltzing from Ball 5, Warlock, Smart Jane, Chasing Clouds, in traction. Napoleon Gray and Bootsy. Any of these could win. There's only four lengths first to last. These are the only ones left in it. It's Sphinx Waltzing in the lead then, coming down towards the third from home. Sphinx Waltzing, Ball 5, Smart Jane, Chasing Clouds, Warlock and Intraction. Over the third last they go. And now a good jump there by Intraction. Seeing that one come into a challenging position on the outside, but it's still Sphinx Waltzing and Ball 5 with two to jump. Sphinx Waltzing in the orange, Ball 5 in the blue, in the pale blue just behind them, Smart Jane is now coming with a look, good looking run but it's got nowhere to go at the moment, over the second last they go, and it's Sphinx Waltzing in the lead, Sphinx Waltzing kicks on, he's got two lengths clear, they've got just one to take, it's Sphinx Waltzing from Smart Jane, Ball 5 and Intraction, it's only between these four, but Sphinx Waltzing looks to have it at the moment, Smart Jane there is trying to reel her in, it's Sphinx Waltzing in the lead, one more fence to take, Sphinx Waltzing in the orange, jumps it slowly, slightly better jump by Smart Jane, Ball 5 and Intraction are trying to run on, but it's Sphinx Waltzing just holding on the moment, still half a length up on Smart Jane in second, they've got half a front on to go, Sphinx Waltzing from Smart Jane, Smart Jane's trying to close, Sphinx Waltzing trying to hold on, Sphinx Waltzing needs the line, Smart Jane sticks ahead out, Smart Jane on the outside, Sphinx Waltzing on the inside, it's on the nod, it's close, I don't know which one of them's won that one, I know Chasing Cloud was last and Napoleon Brown seated his rider, the last fence or maybe the second last went out a shot that's on the nod oh maybe just smart james won it close close but not close enough Wait for the card. Smart Jane for John Morgan takes it. Sphinx Waltz in for Darren Hall second. In traction, Kevin Mean and third. Bootsy for David Robertson fourth. And Ball five for P. Hannon was fifth.